The virus lab at St. Peter's Hospital has never been so busy. It's one of the regional hubs for analysing COVID tests. But here they're trialling something they think could change the way we treat and prevent coronavirus. A nasal spray, which scientists believe could kill 99.9% of the virus. It will have a huge impact, especially on the hospitalisation. Huh? I think it's quite revolutionary in this sense because at the moment we don't have anything else which we can use at the early symptoms at home. The sanitize spray could be used if somebody thinks they've been exposed to the virus and potentially even for those who are already COVID positive. The coronavirus enters our bodies through the mouth and nose. It takes a few days to incubate before entering the lungs where it causes real damage. The virus binds with our cells through its spike protein, the bits that stick out of the membrane. The spray contains nitric oxide, a nanomolecule, which attacks the spike protein, in theory, killing the virus before it reaches the lungs. Hold open one of your nostrils. It's being trialled on COVID positive patients like Sharon at St. Peter's in Surrey. You were really keen to sign up to this. Why was it so important for you? My brother had been diagnosed with lung cancer, had hospital treatment and come down with COVID. He made a really good recovery. And has that inspired you to take part in this? Yes, we need to get rid of COVID. There is so many people out there suffering. The spray is still in early trials, but perhaps the best way to think about it is like hand sanitizer, but for inside the body. So this potentially could be a real game changer. We could actually envisage a time where people carry these nasal spray all the time with them and they spray themselves three or four times a day, even if they have not got an infection, just to prevent the infection from actually occurring in the first place. Vaccination is key in the battle against the virus, but we need more weapons in our arsenal. For those who are waiting for the jab and those who don't get full protection, some vaccines are just 60% effective. The spray, in theory, would be unaffected by mutations. It's still very early on, but if all the trials are successful, a COVID killing spray could be available within six months. Sam Holder, ITV News.